Hey guys, back here in another career mode. Before we hop into the game here against Carolina, I just want to check out our injury report and let you guys know what's going on there. So Mike Evans, shoulder tear, he's only going to be out one more week, which is very good news for us. Damar Dotson's only going to be out one more week. That's also very good news. He's one of our best offensive linemen. Uh, and then on cornerback, doesn't really matter for us. Well, I mean, it does for our team, but just not for our offense. So these are the two main concerns here, but... Only one more week and they should be fully healthy back. So taking on Carolina once again. Then a couple of weeks we're going to start with the ball. I did change our playbook. I'm going to be using New England's playbook here. I feel like that could fit our scheme a little bit. Get the ball passing around here. Try to utilize all the weapons we have. All right, at Tampa Bay. We'll see what we can do here. But I'm just going to have to toss it there to OJ Howard. He's able to stay on his feet. And that wasn't a great decision as he loses a few there. Uh, yeah, inactives. Mike Evans isn't going to be there. That's tough. We did check out his injury report, though, so he should be back within a week. Luke Healy definitely scares me because he's a ferocious linebacker, bro. Oh, they're getting massive pressure on me, man. My offensive line just... Kind of left me out to dry there. I got beat on both tackles very badly. Definitely not what you want to see. Maybe we could fool him with a play action. If someone could actually try to run it here, you know. I mean, it's not likely, but it could happen. Oh, they're going to be blitzing from that side as well. We might have us a dot here, bro. All right, blitz. I mean, mic him. Let's go ahead and see if we can get this done, bro. X is going to be open, but he might not get the first. No, OJ Howard fights for it. We mic the blitzer. It gives us enough time, and that pays off very much so. OJ Howard has another good reception there. We do have Murray back, which is quite good. He's definitely been a decent running back so far in the series. We might have this post route deep, and we're going to find Jackson flag is down that might be face mask i think he grabbed his face mask we'll see yeah they're showing on carolina Personal foul. Face so that's gonna add some defense. insults there to the uh already great gain we had they're gonna accept that coach wants to give murray a chance yeah i like new england's playbook because it is mixed i was thinking about going new orleans but New England does have a nice mix of runs, so we should get some run options here. Going to hand it off to Murray, and he's going to get bottled up there, but he gets a five-yard gain. And we're driving down on Carolina. A uh, stick. Do a little stick concept here. Definitely going to be looking for O.J. Howard. I think everybody probably knows that. Cameron Brake cannot be overlooked, though. He's a definitely a good guy. O.J. Howard's going to be open. Oh, wow. What a pass break up there by Dante Jackson. He continues to impress. every time. Dude, I'm not going to call four verticals when we're at the 10. Tight end shake. I'll take that. I'll take that all day. Cameron Bright here. Who's he going to be? Oh, he's going to be on Luke Keeley. That's a tough matchup. Let's go. We'll see who gets the better of this matchup. This is probably going to decide what happens here. And he's going to... Oh, he catches it on Luke Keeley. That's another great catch in traffic that has happened on Luke Keeley. That spectacular catch against Howard. And now this one against Brait. He's gotten a little bit embarrassed when he's went up against us. And that's a nasty catch there by Brait. Cameron Brait is a serious red zone target. And I need to start getting him the ball more. We're just going to have to line up in those two receiver sets, it seems. And Carolina isn't able to really move the ball. Oh, we get it again. I wish I had more of a receiving back. To be honest, I don't think Murray's the best at that. Let's go ahead and block Bright here. Oh, uh, if it's man coverage, I might go Godwin's way. And it is. Godwin's going to catch it. Yes. Okay. We're kind of picking apart Carolina right now. They've had it. I mean, they got a sack on me, but... We're doing some good things against him. Murray's going to be here on a screen pass. This could be good. It does look like man coverage, which I definitely don't like. So I am going to switch that because if it's man coverage, I don't feel real good in that play call. Let's go ahead and see. Oh, Jesus. They got a massive pass rush off on me. 
Are we going to be able to scramble? No. Oh, we get away from it. Okay. I thought we were going to get caught from behind there, and I was like, no way, dude. But we get 14 yards showing off our ability to scramble. Tough loss last week against Jacksonville. I'm coming back here looking for some revenge. I didn't have a great game myself, to be honest. Can we go outside? Ooh, I'd love an outside run. But we'll just have Murray pound it up the middle, and that was the right decision. See, that's the kind of play right there that I... It's kind of tough where he could have went straight. It, it, I'll show you in the replay here. So this is a perfect play right here that shows my complaint right here. Like, why does he do that? Why does he do a little step to the right? Just run straight. Look at how much open field he has. If he goes straight, he might have a touchdown if he can outrun the safety. That's something in Madden 19 that I just don't understand. It's really, it's really tough sometimes. So second and three after that run by Murray. I might just toss it to Murray here if nobody's guarding him. There is going to be somebody on him. I'm going to toss it. And, oh, what a great pass breakup by Luke Keeley. doesn't want to get burnt by O.J. Howard again after he did last week. Well, I'd love to run it here, coach. Hey, coach, I'd love a run. Any run would do. Okay, we're going to have to go formations here. Let's go ahead and go halfback ISO. Do I wonder if I have to go into like the formations and try and do that myself like for suggestions for third down or whatever Ronald Jones is in the game and he gets the first down all right I see you Ronald Jones fights up the middle there let's go back to suggestions more realistic for the suggestions I kind of like it when it just like your coach is calling a play and you got to run it, unless it's just some crap play that is just not good. I'm going to call a little play action here. Triangle should be wide open. Our running back, Ronald Jones. Okay. Ronald Jones is definitely the better of the receiving backs, I would say. Murray's not much of a receiving back if I had to pick. But if our passing numbers are a little inflated, we probably are going to sling it a little bit more in Tampa, considering our offensive firepower that we do have. All right, come on. Can we fit that in there? Godwin hangs on. He stays on his feet, and he fights forward. Godwin has really just impressed me in every way possible because I was thinking D. Jackson should be ranked above him. I mean, D. Jackson is good, but Chris Godwin is really good. He has great after run after the catch. He can break some tackles, and he'll catch some balls in traffic. Jackson is who I'm going to be looking for here. If he gets open... Um, not a lot of places to go. Just going to toss it to Jackson. Oh, and he hangs on to it. We scramble outside the pocket. Find Deshaun Jackson. And that's our 20th passing touchdown already. Dude, we might break records this first year. Uh, Deshaun Jackson just gets another one. Scramble drill pays off there. Let's go ahead and see if Carolina is going to be able to answer back. They get three. I don't know if three is going to help us against, I mean, help them against our high-powered offense. Let's go ahead and block Murray because I don't really think it's good to send him on a pass route here. All right, I'm going to have to toss that deep. We might have a chance. It's overthrown. I was under some pressure. Just wanted to get that ball off there. Second and ten coming up. Uh, I guess we'll run it here. See if Murray can't get us a few yards. Can I bounce over? Oh, I can't motion over a tight end. I would love to motion over Breit. We'll just hand it to Murray and see what he can get. Fight up the middle. Okay. Three-yard gain. I thought that was going to go negative. I'll take a three-yard gain there. It's a decently hard third and seven here. Pat Seam. I'm going to have to get familiar with the Patriots playbook, but we'll see. O.J. Howard. Ooh, I might have O.J. Howard here. Uh, no, we're going to have Cameron break the wide open. Massive play there to pick up the first. They're just leaving players wide open, Carolina is. And we take advantage of it very good right there. Now we're going to try out a little four verts. So Cameron Bright's been a factor in this game. I can't wait to get Mike Evans back. Our offense is just starting to heat up, dude. Just starting to heat up. All right, we're going to have to toss that. That's going to be wide open. Cameron Bright. Dude, Cameron Braid has just been wide open on two straight plays there. And that's been the difference so far. 
Let's go ahead and try to find a run here. That halfback power definitely looks nice. All right, come on, Murray. Show me something. We're going to hand it to him. He's going to cut it back inside. See there? I can see the cut there. He cut left, and then there was a defender coming, so he tried to cut back right. That's a That was a decent one. Or right, we'll run it again. We'll give him a chance. Oh, wow. Look at the AFC East there. Got a lot of tough competitors in there. Four and two apiece. As we're going to try to run it here and get four. That's a that's a decent run play. Now we're going to be in third and manageable. Deep attack. I like it. I like the call here. The tight end is a monster in the red zone. They know we got OJ Howard. Try to shorten that route up a little bit. And we'll see what we can do. All right, we're going to be under pressure. I'm just going to have to scramble for it, and we're going to have a touchdown. And we're just doing them dirty. What's our celebration going to be here? Oh, he did the Superman on him. He supermaned him. That's insane. Oh, he's showing the Cam Newton. I'll take it, dude. I'll take it. Going up against Carolina. That's a little disrespectful if I had to say, dude. It's a little disrespectful. Still in the second quarter. We already got 21 on the board. Carolina only has six. So we'll see what we can do before half, maybe. Oh, wow. That was a great one by Luke Keeley there. I thought he was on the under route. He could have intercepted that. And I wouldn't have even been mad at it. He baited me very much. Definitely would uh, love to hit this post route to Deshaun Jackson. I don't know what's going on here. Am I losing my voice or what, bro? Second and ten. Uh, post route might be open, and it's going to be... No! Deshaun Jackson drops it. Working on James Bradbury, really? Okay. That's tough. That is a tough one. Working on James Bradbury. He drops it. Ooh, that's that's not great. Uh, we'll see who's going to be open here, though. Murray might be. Oh, he's able to hang on to it. I didn't know if it would get jarred loose, but he's able to... Hang on to that, and we're going to get another first down, marching down the field. Can we got a run play in here, bro? Let's go Pat Stutter, actually. I do want to get O.J. Howard out into some open space just because of how explosive he is. I think he can make some tough catches out there. We're under some serious pressure, though. All right, come back towards me. Oh, I was trying to throw it. I would have ran for it, but I thought Triangle was going to come back to me. All right, it does not do out routes not work as well as they used to because I remember I would call out routes a lot in 18. I don't really call out routes a lot in 19. They just don't work as well for me. Circle, I mean, yeah, look at that. He's all over that. Flag is down though, so we'll see what who this is gonna be on. Looks like it might be on Dante Jackson. Pass interference, defense. Okay, I'll take that. Another first down. We're gonna get it at the 50. I'll take it. I will definitely take it. Let me know if you guys would like me to go into the formations and kind of make it a little more realistic with runs or just stick with the coach suggestions. Let me know that down in the comments. Oh, our one's going to be open. Murray. Oh, you know, I'm not mad at that either because if Luke Keeley's coming at you like that and you're running back, probably isn't going to work out too well. Probably isn't, if we're being honest. Go ahead and call a little curl flats here. See if we can't hit somebody. Can't wait to get Mike Evans back. That's going to be a huge addition back to our offense. As we're going to just toss it here. Back shoulder fade it to Godwin. And this is probably going to take us to the two-minute warning. So the two-minute warning as hit here. This pass combination is a little tricky. I'm not going to lie about that, dude. Jesus. We're going to have to get outside the pocket here. Oh, I tried to fire it, and it did not work out. Don Terry Poe gets the sack, but... Still only a second and 14. Really? They want to call the exact same play? Let's go ahead and call a PA quick here in the round. We have to block OJ Howard because usually you get massive pressure from the right side when this happens. I might toss it to Godwin. We'll see how open he's going to be here. And Square is going to be left alone. Deshaun Jackson! Oh, he puts on the speed there and just gets down to the 23. Let's go hurry up mode. Definitely should have went hurry up mode there. Oh, uh, what do we want? What do we want? Hurry up. Let's just go slants. We need something. Clock is going to be winding down here. 
We still do have a... Actually, we got three timeouts. We probably didn't need to go hurry up mode. We're going to fire it to Deshaun Jackson again, but Luke Keeley delivers a nasty hit to him. And that was nasty. Make no mistake about that. Why out? I love this play here. We're going to give OJ Howard a chance. Let's go ahead and block Murray because I'm not real concerned about him going in the passing game here. And we'll see if we can't hit OJ Howard. I'm just going to float it to him. That should be an easy touchdown. And it is. We're having an amazing day so far. And we're lighting up Carolina. And their defense is no joke. They have some playmakers. But that's what I like to see there. It's going to be 28-6. to six. Jesus. Now it's 28-9. to nine. Call a little play action here. See if we can't get outside the pocket. Carolina just can't seem to score. But our defense isn't that bad. So... We'll see. Just going to have to get rid of it real quick to O.J. Howard. And Luke Keeley stands him up there, but it's still a four-yard gain. I'll take that. It's three touchdown day for us. We're having a nice day so far. Let's go ahead and give a little stretch here. See if Murray can't get out in the open space. Get a little yards here after contact, maybe. Ronald Jones probably is more meant for these outside runs. We're going to hand it to Murray, though, and he's going to slip a tackle, and he's still going there up to the 40. All right, Murray, showing the ability to break some tackles there. I'll take that. I'll take it. Um, Let's see here. Murray's going to be lined out wide. Deshaun Jackson's going to be left alone there. So we're just going to get that to him real quick because he's left alone. Oh, he's going to get some yards. Great blocking there. Another spin move. Deshaun Jackson all the way up to the 31. What are they doing? They literally leave him uncovered? That's tough. That's tough right there. They leave you uncovered. Get up to the 31. Deshaun Jackson already nearly has a 100-yard day. Can't wait to see what we get when we're off and start getting more explosive here. Getting some playmakers back. We get a yard there. Probably going to start running the ball a little bit more just to start chewing some clock or go play action. Just take the little underneath routes right now unless there's a huge route open down the field. Would love to have Braid here once more. If he's going to be open. Yeah, we're going to have to get rid of that. Deflected, but he catches it. Luke Keeley tries to strip it out. But we're going to get a decent gain off that deflection. You don't see that much. Definitely don't see it much. All right, let's go ahead and give Murray a chance. Show him that we can, we're dependent on him here. It's going to be a third and three. Can he get the tough yards that we need here? They're lined up pretty close to the line of scrimmage, though, so we'll see. Murray's going to cut back. Not a great decision by Murray at all. Fourth and one, and I'm not mad at kicking a field goal here. We're going to get the ball back again, so it means they turned it over again, which isn't good for them. First and 10, we're going to try this little PA quick here. Looks like a little end around coming in. And, oh, wow. What happened there? I didn't even see it. We just got sacked by on Terry Poe, I guess. Second and 14. Call another play action here. Let's just send Deshaun Jackson going straight down the field. Because if he's one-on-one, -on -one, we're taking that shot all day. Oh, a safety is going to drop back there. Oh, wow. Okay. Now they're getting some pressure. Shaq Thompson coming off the edge. They're sending a few blitzes my way. This should end the... Th oh, no. We should be able to get a playoff before the third quarter ends. I'm looking for Sharp on this post route here. That's really going to be my only chance of converting this, to be honest. And we're going to toss it to him. Oh! I thought he had it, but he gets broken up. That's still impressive that he was got that wide open there, but... Got to make that play. Carolina scores. Maybe since in a fourth quarter comeback they are. Not on my watch, though. After we got destroyed by Jacksonville. Well, not destroyed. My defense just couldn't make a stop for anything. I'm looking for a W here. I'm looking for that W. Just got to float it here to Godwin. And I have a... I can see the receivers definitely get upfield more. Like, they'll turn straight upfield more than the running backs. Which is a little weird because the running backs, I feel like, should probably do that more than the receivers. But at least we can get some run after the catch here for our receivers. 
OJ Howard is looking like the target I'm going to go for. He's going to be one-on-one. -on -one. We're going to toss it. Oh, that's intercepted. Whoa, he just picked that off there. First interception on the day. Wasn't a great throw by me. Or great decision, period, there. And now Carolina scores. Cut it back within a 10-point game. They are sensing a comeback, it seems. All right, let's go ahead and just try to run it here. Don't want to play stupid here. We need this game. The Falcons are only 5-1-2, and one too, so we both have one loss. We're going to hand it to Murray. Oh, and he gets a good run there. Murray busts a hole open there. Second and three. We'll run it again. I'd love to get Ronald Jones in the game just to see what he could do. All right, I'm not going to run it against that look. Not, not at all. Let's go ahead and go stick fade here. Send Howard deep. And Godwin's probably going to be my target. He is going to be at it. He's going to be open. Spins away from contact. And he's going to be off to the races. Godwin's going to have a touchdown. And that that's the plays I'm talking about from Godwin. That impressed me. He was like, had a double tackle on him. Spins away from it. Look at that. And then he just has the speed to get away from everybody. And that's going to be a touchdown. I mean, nasty play there by Godwin. Nasty play. We get the touchdown we need when Carolina was really coming back here in the fourth quarter. Had two touchdown in the fourth quarter, I believe. Now we'll just run it here with Murray to the right. See if he can't get any yards. Oh, there's going to be a wide open hole for him. It's going backwards a little bit. But he's got 10 rushes on the day. Let's keep on pounding it with him, bro. I'm not I'm not mad with it. Put chew clock on and just start pounding it. They're down about three possessions here. So it isn't looking good for Carolina. So if we do end up getting to the two-minute warning. I don't see him calling a timeout. Murray's still going now. Up to the 47. Has 60 yards on the day. Trying to pad his stats as well, maybe. Uh, let's go ahead and give him another run, I guess. Or play action, I guess, would work out. No, let's go halfback ISO. Let's just pound it. Let's see if we're going to be capable of it. This is going to be a huge question. If we can run the ball when we need to. Late in the year, when we're maybe playoffs, when we need to run the ball, we'll see if we can. Murray is proving it, though, that he can break some tackles at an alarming rate. And that should take us to the two-minute warning. All right, so two-minute warning did hit here. I, I wouldn't think that Carolina's going to call timeouts here, but you never know. Yeah, they're not going to call timeouts. We're just going to chew the clock here. Well, not that it matters much, but I am going to try to end the game here, get a first down. We're going to go play action from the eye. So we'll see what happens here as we're not going to have anybody open. I might have had circle open, but didn't work out there. That's going to bring up a fourth down, and that should probably end the game maybe. Carolina, yeah, it's going to end the game 38-21. to We just blow out Carolina in a division rivalry. We have another good game here. Let's go ahead and check out our team stats. So we have 138 rating. We were 20 of 28. Didn't fling it that much. 358 yards, 71% completion rate. Four touchdowns to one interception. Rushing the ball. Murray really did come on late there. 13 carries of 66 yards there. Five averaging. We had a few runs there. A touchdown ourselves. Receiving the ball, Godwin really impressed me. He really did. That's that's just how scary our receiving core is. Because imagine when we do get Mike Evans back. I keep on saying that. Our team is starting to come together now. So imagine Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, Deshaun Jackson, OJ Howard. Are you out are you kidding? Uh and then yeah, Deshaun Jackson would be our slot guy. But yeah, he had a good day. We got a touchdown to four different people. Godwin had one, Jackson, Howard, and Brait. Great really impressed me today as well. Defensively here, Levante David had eight tackles. Brian Arakpo had eight. Justin Evans, did we get any sacks? Two by Gerald McCoy. Interceptions, we didn't have any. So as a whole, our defense did hold Carolina down. They held them to 21. I mean, that's a decently low score, not real low scoring, but we scored 38 on a tough defense in Carolina. All right, so before we ended the episode, let's just do a little matchup look in here. We're going to be taking on the Cardinals next episode. They're going to be 4-3. and three. We're 7-1. and one. Uh, Falcons lost, so we do have a game lead over the Falcons. 
that should even out though once we get a buy so we should, yeah we should just be a game over them i wanted to check out stats from around the league so we're number one in passing yards right now let's go ahead and see the yearly awards are we mvp candidate right now so if the season was to end i would be the mvp so that's pretty good right there mahomes is right behind me so we got some people what are our stats total though just for us i mean we have thrown quite a lot of interceptions dude i'm not gonna lie but 23 nearly 2400 yards 22 touchdowns the nine interceptions our first year starting we've played well rushing the ball we've done really good things too we have 300 yards rushing and three touchdowns murray isn't doing great as a whole though but when you consider our passing game is really we're, we're more of a passing team it's pretty impressive what we've been able to do with our offense godwin leads the team in receptions we get mike evans back i do believe this week is he healthy yeah he's gonna be starting he's gonna be our number one receiver so we'll have him back oh it's gonna be scary next week going up against arizona who doesn't have a great defense i mean they do have patrick peterson who should be lined up on mike evans we just have a lot of weapons, so we'll see what happens next week against Arizona. That's going to be it for this episode. If you guys are enjoying or new to my channel, make sure you hit that sub button. It'll really help me out. And once we get to 500 subs, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. So help me get to that goal real quick here so we can do the giveaway. It's a $50 gift card giveaway I'm going to be doing. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. I'll see you guys next episode. Peace out.